Pisces, Pisces, Pisces. Well, hello there, my beautiful Pisces. I hope you are doing well today. Thank you for all the beautiful likes, the comments, the shares, the subscriptions, the donations to my channel. It is greatly appreciated and well received more than you will ever know. So, what I need for you to do right now is I need for you to give me all that fun, loving, exuberant, beautiful energy that you got. You can do that by clicking that like button. You can comment, you can share, you can subscribe, you can just do all those beautiful, magical mother trucking things that you do to me so well here at Tally's Tarot. So I'm going to slap down the whole oh, 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 oh. <laughs> I don't know. Don't ask me. Sometimes you just got to get it out, even if it sounds weird. So, Pisces, you know what time it is, baby doll. Mm-hmm. Tarot is now in session. The most honorable judge, T. T. Dong, presiding. You can all lay down. So, we're going to check in on that energy that person you're dealing with. Or whatever energy might be coming towards you, my beautiful loves. Whatever the case is, we're going to get it. We're going to get hit it. And we're going to quit it. And then we're going to burn one out in the back like we always do together. Or you can just hang out in the back. Slip out the back, Jack. Make a new plane and stand. No need to be coy, Roy. Show! Oh, boy. Show! Okay, sure. Show! Show me the energy of the person might... Sure. All right, Pisces. Okay. Down on the table, I've got the Five of Pen. I've got the Three of Cups. I've got the Chariot. The overall energy for the reading is Ten Swords. Okay, something has to end in order for all things to begin again, okay? Something to start new, okay? So this person's feeling something in their life has ended. I don't know. Maybe they quit... Oh, shit. Now we're in the dark. Oh, no. Okay. Hold on a second, Pisces. I'm sorry. I'm having all kinds of malfunctions back here. It's probably going to... Let me get a battery here. Give me just a second. I'm sorry. The light's probably going to kill. Hold on. Oh, my God. Pisces. Hold on a second. It's I can't turn on the lights in the house because it shuts the air conditioner off. So I'm using my photography lights. Oh no. And that one's dead too. Son of a bitch. I charged that. What the hell's going on here? I got one whole... Hold on. One last resort here. One last resort. Alright. Let's hope this one's got enough juice to get us through the reading here. Okay. What's going on here? Let's see. Okay, I got some juice. We're back up. Okay. Sorry about that, guys. I know. It's rough around here. Once this heat stops, I'll be okay. So, okay. Five of Pentacles here, okay? Your person here is feeling left out here, feeling like they don't have a leg to stand on. Like, literally, they only have, well, they only have one leg to stand on here and a crutch. Okay, so they're feeling vulnerable, isolated. Basically, this person's feeling like, a homeless beggar. Like they got to beg for your attention here. <laughs> oh, Pisces, give me some attention. Will you let me in the house? I know I don't deserve to be in the house because I'm a bum and I stink, but please. Three cups down here on the table. This is all about getting together, making merry, going out, I don't know, drinking. It could be a card of birthing. We'll have to find out because that also is what the three of cups typically means, a pregnancy. Uh, we have the chariot card down here on the table. The uh, emperor drives the chariot. Uh, he tries to find and maintain the balance here. And basically, that's the card of let's go to Pound Town City, Illinois, and pet that kitty. <laughs> so let's see why this person's feeling this Five of Cups energy. Show me the Five of Cups, please. Five of Cups. Or Five of Pentacles. Why is this person feeling the Five of Pentacles? Nine of Wands. 
What's going on with the Knight of Wands to the Five of Pentacles? Why are they feeling so left out right now? Okay. Well, they're... Seems like they're trying to get your attention. They're shooting you text messages, but you're over here busy with your loom, okay? So you're looming up a beautiful rug right now. Maybe you're focused here on your craft, your art, but you're working on something here. And this person here, it's like, they're like... And it's like, they're like, the horse is like, Why are we getting Marx's attention here? I'm sending all these fiery messages. And you're like, oh, yeah, I'm busy with my loom here. I have harvested a bunch of my lamb's wool here. And now I've, I've made my own thread. And I'm making this beautiful rug for my beautiful self here. Okay. And so it's like you're kind of ignoring this person a little bit. This is what they're feeling like. Okay, why is Pisces ignoring this person? Kind of. Why are you kind of ignoring this person right now? Why is Pisces kind of ignoring this person right now? Because you're heartbroken right now. Why is Pisces heartbroken? Why is Pisces heartbroken right now? So I know you care. Okay, you're heartbroken right now. Mm. Mm. Because you feel like this is just over with. Like, you've just given up. You've given up here. You've, this is what's coming through. You've given up. You wanted something here. You wanted a long-term relationship. You wanted to move in together. And now you're just heartbroken and you've given up. You're like, you know, this is not even going to happen. Not even, I'm not even going to get what I want. Meanwhile, this person's still, like, trying to blow you up and get your attention here. And you're just like, no, I'm heartbroken and I already know that I'm not going to get what I want here out of the situation, which you're wanting, you know, to either marry this person or have them say we're boyfriend, girlfriend, or move in. So you're not getting what you want here. So you're just feeling like this is over. So why is this Three of Cups here Pisces person's energy? Yeah. Two of Swords to the Three of Cups. I'm going to get one more here on that. Let's get one more on that Two of Swords to the Three of Cups, please. Sure. Two of Swords to the Three of Cups here. So, mm. yeah, it's like this person, it's like, I don't know what's going on with Pisces. I don't know why Pisces is hardly communicating to me. I don't know why Pisces is not wanting to spend time with me here. But I'm trying to be, I, I, I'm really wanting to spend time with Pisces here. I want to, but Pisces is just not letting me. So why do they want to spend time with Pisces? Top to bottom, I don't know what that was. What, why do they want to spend time with Pisces? Why do they want to spend time with Pisces? Because they see a huge opportunity here with you. And what is this huge opportunity that they see with the Pisces, please? What is this huge opportunity here that they see with the Pisces here? Hmm. That's pretty huge. That's pretty huge. The Nine of Pentacles to the Magician. Yeah. So it's like they're single. They're like, this is a huge opportunity. I think that we, uh, Pisces is very, very skilled at what Pisces does. And I'm just as skilled. So they see you... Both of you are both skilled individuals here. And they see a huge opportunity here for growth here with the world, which is huge. So they see that. But right now, you're cutting them off. Oh my God, Pisces, you're cutting them off. <laughs> oh, the court, you go, Pisces, we're cutting them off. Yeah, cut them off, Pisces. Okay, well, that's kind of like the law of attraction here. So why is the chariot down here in Pisces person's energy? What's this chariot? What's this chariot here? Okay, they're having a tower over their chariot. So either their car broke down or they're having a freak out moment because they don't know where this is going or they know where they want it to go. What's the tower with the chariot? Tower with the chariot. Yep. Soulmate. Where's this going? They want to go. 
Pisces, somebody wants to put you in their chariot here because they feel a strong soulmate connection. They've all of a sudden had a realization, oh my God, oh my God, electricity's in the air. This person thought they knew what was going on with their life here and their ideas here on relationships, but now it's like all of a sudden this person doesn't want to be the single emperor here that's driving the chariot all the way. They want to put their soulmate in that chariot here. <laughs> that's really what's just coming through here. But you're kind of like, you're heartbroken and you're kind of thinking that this is over. And they are most certainly, definitely not thinking this is over. Oh my God, Pisces. It's beautiful energy, so this person feels great about you. I don't know where the block is. I could sit here and spend another hour. We could go, I don't have enough energy to do an extended today. And um, I'd like to, this would be great. Or I'd like to just sit here and tackle this energy a little bit more but I've got to get to work here in like an hour and a half so I'm going to grab the final messages here and uh, we're going to clear this one off what else do you want to tell Pisces four of wands this is reiterating what I just said here you were hoping to have more here and you're heartbroken because you didn't have more and now you feel like this is just over meanwhile they're coming back all right what else do you want to tell Pisces yeah, this person's trying to send you messages here, and you're just not having it. You're just like, I don't know. Three of Pentacles. This person wants to be with you, Pisces. So, this has been your reading. Thank you for joining me on another episode of As the Fish Swims. These are the tales of your fins. Tales adjourned. Plus, yeah, my light's probably going to die again, so, yeah. All right, I love you, Pisces.